All right, let's see who we get in here. Let me copy this invite link, and I'm going to put it in chat just in case anybody wants to come in here. Actually, I'm probably going to have to paste that again because I think if they come in after, they won't see it. We will find out. yippee ki -yay. Here we go. My vertically hey, what's up, Jimmy? Game. We were just talking about you, brother. <laughs> that motherfucking Jimmy. <laughs> My vertically challenged friend. <laughs> Good things come to those who wait. What's up, brother? Redhead. So. Boy, you you must have been sitting there waiting because uh, you jumped right in there. We weren't even going to go live for another two, three minutes. Whoa. Oh, it's been one of those days. Yep. I got my lucky 80s sweatshirt on. Literally. There he is. Days. Okay, I made it. Welcome, Dan. I had to play around. I did an update a couple days ago, and I had to get my camera set up. Oh. Come on, Cliff. Hopefully Cliff doesn't hey, have Cliff. the same problem. Jump in here. Anybody can jump in here, really. We're going to talk about Blender, but if you want to sit, sit, sit in here and watch you're more than welcome to probably won't be a super long one today what's up jeremy mr strickland yep yeah. yeah, tomorrow i'll get to celebrate my birthday with my granddaughters oh happy birthday, <laughs> happy birthday. yep yep i'm breaking that 50 crest i'm hitting 51. <laughs> uh oh i uh i am 50 and i will be 51 in october I'll be in March. Uh -oh. What's up, yeah, White March. What's going hey, on? Cliff. I made it. Hey, hey, Cliff. Well, I've actually been here for a few minutes. There I go. I'll show, my, I'll show my old self. Since you all ah, ready, please. You no, know. put it back. Put it back. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You can look at this. Your computer's working better, Cliff. You're not hiccuping like you did yesterday. I don't know what the heck was going on. I don't know. It's all good. I was actually sitting it's there in the background good. fucking around with Blender, so. Oh. In the Blender. background. So. What's up, Mopar? Hey, John. What's going on, John? So. He's going to be 61. My goodness. Or he is 61. Oh, you just turned 61 on the 4th? Well, happy birthday. Belated. I've got two guys I went to school with. They're cousins, and that birthday days are both on the 4th. Wow. Both clown. They're both clowns too. <laughs> nice. That's all that matters, as long as they're sitting hey, there hanging out. So. Kalen. 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 Yep. Sorry about that. All right. I'll get it here. I already slammed the like. I'm in the restream. I can shut the YouTube off in the background. So I'm saving bandwidth. Jump back forth in between Blender and this. So. Well, I will switch to my blender screen so that you guys can see whatever I'm doing. Ooh, so I, just to do something. <laughs> <laughs> How was everybody doing that last time, having themselves on here and having the blender also showing? What did you have? Well, to you, can, you can share your screen at the bottom of the restream window. There's a little icon to share your screen. Yeah. And then. You just tell it you want to share either the window or the whole screen. And if you do just the window, then oh. you just specify Blender. Right. Um, or yeah. if you use a software like Restr or like uh, Streamlabs, um, you know, it's got all that functionality kind of built into it, which is how I do it. Right. Let me I'm make just right. I don't know how to use Streamlabs with this. Well, that's right. I... I found uh, what the hell do they call it? Uh, laptop. It's actually a Chromebook, and oh, no. uh, okay, it's working. The Chromebook. Okay. I wouldn't say it's that great. I can't get restream or anything else on, and I'm kind of limited to what I can do. 
per se. Oh, okay. So let's see. Chrome tab window. Mm -hmm. Jeremy says I'll be 47 the 21st of this month. Okay. My son's birthday is the 20th. Okay, that's weird. All right, well, I guess I won't be sharing that one because apparently Blender's. What uh, a shady crew. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> so I did manage to figure out a little bit. I do have uh, uh, a reference spot as like a background. I did find a couple pictures online so I could maybe kind of trace mm -hmm. some of the shapes that I need based off that kind of like how you did the surfboards. Okay. So okay. I kind of got Very cool. that right now. Did you did you get that already imported and start using that or do you need help with that? I actually have it imported finally. It took me a few minutes to uh, figure it out, but I mean, I changed different axes because I got a top view looking down on the frame. Yep, perfect. And then I got, like, the front view looking at it, uh, like, front on, so you can see, like, tires, the axle, and the frame if you're looking at the front of the truck. Right, right. So that kind of helped, and I literally, right as you went live, I just got that somewhat set there so i was gonna fuck around with some of the oh, what the hell am i doing now what am i doing okay, okay. hey johnny i don't know i've got blender pulled up but i can't seem to figure out how to hey, pull it up here well i clicked share screen and it's not coming up on my uh right oh uh, blender's gosh. not coming up in the menu so Oh, wait, hold on. Here it is. I think I just had to click on it. I was wondering what the hell happened. <laughs> like, that dick just kicked me out. <laughs> Sorry. What's oh, up, yeah, guys? here we go. Whose blender is that? That one is mine. There you and go. So, so that's I got your reference? the background for the reference. Okay. So it was a plan of like kind of based off a uh, two axle military truck, if you couldn't. Tell what kind of boxing this sort of frame and stuff, and then if I go here's hmm. and switch my well, not the axis, uh, yeah, that one, this one. There we go. I got another view of the top <laughs> that I had actually found. So if I'm looking at the top of it, I can. Uh, I know I got to work with trying to get some of the scale between the front and the back, but at least it gives a little bit of the uh, reference of what, you know, kind of tr trying to do. So I got to add my uh, shapes here, whatnot. So I'm playing with the different views to see if any of these are better. Hey, what's going on, Jeff? How the hell are you? Oh, Jesus. I shut 80 down. Hey, Jethro. Yeah, that does. Oh, good. Wow. I reckon I'm going to hit the bench for a little while tonight. I got three yeah, choices on here, Miguel. I got edits, entire screen, I've got window, and I've got Microsoft Edge tab. I would so go if window. You, if you do window, then you yeah. can select, you should be able to select Blender. But I will say Frank was trying that the other day and was not having any luck with it. Yeah. So your alternative is to just do the whole screen yeah now i could see it there now it's in there now can you see my screen yeah um let me see do i have you yeah i, I can see frank's you... screen out there. there oh yeah yeah how'd you get yours yeah, out, right? out right how'd you get yours up yeah up there I guess I opened it just click click I opened it after the stream. Doing it doing it. Okay, so okay, so Jeff is so we have we saw your screen there, Dan, but it was showing your restream window. Do you only have one monitor? Yeah. Yeah, there's one. Okay. 
Okay. These lights flickering for. Mm. No, no, someone charging our electric car. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to Blender. Jeremy wants to know if you're working on the CUDA. <laughs> Josh. No, not tonight. I'm trying to get the uh, control exhaust yeah. set up on the uh, the exo car. Um, I don't actually have a whole lot left to do to this thing before it's ready for primer. Um, well, I've got to draw up a wiring and plumbing schematic for it so that I can plumb it and wire it and everything. But the CUDA... Hmm. I've got to make rear shock. I'm going to be making rear shocks for it probably this weekend. Thought about buying them, but I'm probably just going to make some. Because you're playing the view and the orientation. So it's hard to build my little car. Oh, this is, uh... Been able to work on the Whipple anymore, Miguel? No, actually, I haven't done anything the uh, the last twenty four hours in Blender. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. When I tried to call earlier. I thought I saw a notification where you were going to be live. Oh, are you eight two eight? You don't have my number saved. Apparently not, because uh, I, I saw that and I was like, I don't know who the fuck that is. I'm not answering that. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> what a douche. <laughs> I'm going to save you as uh, blocked. <laughs> yeah. Do not answer. <laughs> no, I'm going to go add you right now. Because I saw the call, I just didn't recognize 828, so I was like, not going to answer that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Hey, much. what's going on? Yep. I'm trying to listen to him, guys. He's trying to save face now. He's like... I know, that's off my dick. Did you change your number? Because I thought I had you. No, that's the same number I've had for like the last 15 right. years. Yeah. Let me see here. I thought I had you in my contacts, but I guess I must not if you're not. I'm looking too bad. <clears throat> Scale. Maybe that's why I was. So. Let me save. Scale. Dan, what can I help you with? What can I? What can I help you figure uh, out? I just want to be able to do what they're doing. What am I? What am I not doing right? What are you trying to? Oh, you trying to show your screen? I want to. I want to do what they're doing. I want to be able to show because I've got. I've got it up right now. I've got Blender on. Behind. Okay. Well, you can go do show my screen like or share your screen like we showed you. You just have to select screen instead of. Um, instead of window. Okay. And then, but you won't be able to see, unless you have multiple monitors, you won't be able to see um, the Hangout at the same time. I've got a big monitor here, and I've got one, my laptop to my right, but they're, you know, they're more or less, this one is linked to that one, that's all. Where the hell well, are they, they, are both screens, are both screens oh. on the computer? Damn it. That's fucking small. Say that again, Miguel. I, I didn't are hear both you on screens that. on the same computer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the well, over here is just linked into that one, so I can I'm half blind. Okay, so you can see two different that. things at the same time. So, so that's fine. You just have to put the Hangout on one screen and Blender on the other. And in the Hangout, share, uh, click Share Screen, yeah. and select the screen that has Blender on it. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait. Hold on. What the hell is that all about? Huh? Uh -oh. He says for you, I got into the army this is group build to figure out what to build for the Coast Guard. I have a 135 HH65 fleet. Oh, 
Dawson, is that how you say that? Or a 36 motor lifeboat from... Well, I don't tip, typically build I, military stuff, so I, I'm not a good reference for you there. I might. I ain't, ain't figured out what I want to do for the Coast Guard, but sure, that I can build. But it's so not does that, does that group build. You have to pick pick a branch, or I, I don't know. I it's Damn. like try to do all five. I mean, I could do car reference basically, build a car for whatever branch. I'm up. Okay. Because that was something I was thinking about. Do a motorcycle for one. Oh. Got two cars that I could use. Somewhere in here. See. Uh, I got a 55 pickup I could use for one. Oh, let's see. What else? Great, I'll probably that should be good. If I can't get snapping on one of them. Habits. You want to share the screen that's got Blender on it, not your Hangout. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, Let's see what's going on. I got my boy doing this. Okay. I don't okay. Think you can on that He's time. trying. Extend. I extend them. Okay. All right. There you go. All right. Okay. Okay. Uh, now there's that. Let you do that to change. Oh, sorry, you did it. it is. Nice. It's all on that side. I you got to get the board over, yeah. And I can close. You can close the display. Where is my mouse? <laughs> so I yeah, I got to go left to go there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to change it to where I can go right, go straight to it. There you go. Okay, okay, cool. Now we'll... All right. I'm going to it. I need to go face Sweet. You need me? Yeah. You know I will. Yeah. Click on it. Okay. Yeah. Now. You can put that on this screen and that over there. Well, I want to be able to watch. But in, in the Hangout, you need to do a share screen and then show the. Okay. Okay. There we go. That, you got yeah. it now? There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> I, got my, my, I got my Brainiac kid. Get here is freaking whiz on the freaking computer. There you go. <laughs> get get the young ones to do it. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Coast Guard and chopper would be cool if you could so you find can one. Oh crap. Uh, yeah, go. I'm gonna do the helicopter <laughs> journey. Uh, I know I ain't giving it really a whole lot of thought, but I got a couple of them. We got while to do so added to my list of other group builds that either a i haven't finished or this need to just talking about builds i am getting further along with this oh dang yeah cool. so what? i did accomplish something last night listening to cliff oh. skip and scat all over the place so <laughs> it did motivate yeah me. i i got a i found a chromebook that unfortunately i did a test i cliff thompson you know backup account so yeah uh yeah actually uh craig uh the modeler is the one hosting it so anyone yeah. can it's supposed to last all year right yeah it's all year yeah yeah russ so, jump in here so oh, what are you working on uh frizzo what can i help you with um well, what do you need what do you need to know you know how to move shit around i'm just trying to learn the basics right yeah. now i missed the last one yeah okay all right so let's do what fresher from uh last week yeah, okay last week. so let me uh let me add a cube to my screen here so that you guys can see the same thing you see okay oh, it, something like that all right so you're your uh, your main window your is is called your 3D viewport, and in the upper okay. left hand corner you've got a drop down menu, and it'll either say object mode or it'll say edit mode. 
Uh, if you hit your tab key, you can cycle between them. Oh, oh, edit. Okay, edit or okay. I feel what you're talking about. Okay, those are the yeah, two below render and edit. that you're going to be messing with. Yeah, below the render and edit file. Yeah. All right, which one should I be on? Edit or object mode? Object mode is is what's going to let you move things around. Okay. Edit mode is what's going to let you edit the the size and shape of things. Okay. So it depends on what you want to do. For now, I just wanted you to understand that there are two different modes. So okay. if we if we start in object mode and you click on the the cube in the center of your screen, you'll see it has a yellow highlight. And yeah. if you click in the gray area off to the side, you'll see that it deselects that cube. Oh, okay. So now if you if you hold your shift key and then middle mouse, press your middle mouse and then uh, hold it and move your mouse around, you'll see your, your camera kind of moves around. Yeah. And if you don't hold the shift key, then it rotates around. So strafing versus rotating, whether you hold the shift or not, but it's your middle mouse button that will let you change your view. Okay. So if you can see on my screen, I'm holding my middle mouse. Yeah. Versus this, where if I hold shift and do the same thing, it moves this way. Oh. Huh. Uh, I don't know. I hit my shift key on here and it didn't do anything. Just my yeah. We don't, we don't see your screen anymore, Frizzo. Did you drop out, Frank? You may have, you may have connection. Uh, uh, give me hmm. yes. Give me no. Are you here, but I'm here. <laughs> oh, I hit the shift. Oh, okay. oh, I hit the go. shift key and my mouse is just going around. <laughs> But I do that. Well, shift and then hold your middle mouse is oh. what you got to do. Oh. oh, oh, I understand now. So it's either shift, it's either shift with the middle mouse or it's just the middle mouse. But those will change your view, your viewpoint uh, like the, on in your three D window. So the shift with the mouse, middle mouse is more or less your X and Y axis. It looks like or. Well, well, it's 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 sliding it's left and right, up and down versus rotating around yeah. the object. And then you do just a just a middle mouse. It's all over the place. Yep. So now wherever okay. you ended up, if you select your object again, your cube, and then if you hit the period in your numpad, the bottom right corner of your keyboard, yeah. it'll center your view on whatever you have selected. Uh it pulled up, open. It opened some windows around it. Well, that's because you hit the period. You didn't hit the period in your numpad. You hit the period next to your shift key. Oh. So right click okay. in the center of the screen uh, on the gray area on your screen there. Right click to cancel that. Oh, you've got a. You've got. Are you on a Mac? Oh God. No, no, no. It's just a okay. keyboard my boy gave me. Okay, I, I don't have the normal. You out of here. I don't have it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have the, the normal one. <laughs> on the laptop. If I had the lap, it hooked to a laptop. I, I, you know, I could do it, but no. This okay, is well, I'm my, not. My boy gave me. Unfortunately, I don't know what your key binds are going to be for. Um, yeah. The fact that you yeah. don't have a you don't have a 104 key keypad or 110 or whatever it no. is. You've got the shorty. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. The brainchild. <laughs> Let me see if I can hold on. Let me see if I can find Shut up, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Much can modeling when it says it in his name. Says it all. <laughs> but I'm learning. It's the Munchkin man with the Munchkin keyboard. Okay, so in the in uh, that guy, the, the uh, Blender Guru dude, he was talking oh, about yeah. keyboards He's... like this that you can go up there and hit like a three key or whatever. 
F3. No F3 sense. will search. Yeah, F3 brings up your search. So here's what you want to do, Dan. This is for you specifically because okay. of your keyboard. In the in your uh, 3D viewport, at the top, next to that object mode drop-down menu, there's a view menu. If you select yeah. that and then select align view, and then if you if you notice, there's an option called center cursor and frame all. Okay. If you oh, right click on it, if you left off. click on it. Yeah, if you left click on that, it will go ahead and center your camera the way that I was describing. If okay. you right click on it, you'll get another menu that will let you set a hotkey to do that so that you can you can create your own hotkey to center your view. Assign shortcut. Okay. The, prob the problem is you have to know whether or not the key that you select is is used for other things. So just understand that. Yeah, I'll just leave it the way it is right now. <laughs> but yeah, so you can you can hit those menus view, view, align view, and then center view will bring you to the center of whatever you have selected, whereas the rest of us normal people can hit our period. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, I didn't see that way. I, I, I see how it's going to be. You make a front of my height with my, key, my, my size of my keyboard, okay. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to show you, and I forgot to mention this to Cliff last weekend, but in the upper right-hand corner, you have a little icon with a down arrow that looks like two circles. Uh, in the upper right hand corner of your 3D viewport. Yep, yep. And to the left of that, there's there's an icon that looks similar to like a bow and arrow. Uh, yep, that one right there. Okay, and if you hit that drop down menu, about halfway down, there is a blank checkbox called move. My recommendation is to check that box. And what it will do is it will always have the little move widget, the little three arrows, red, green, and blue arrows on whatever you have selected so that okay, you, can, need... you can click the right arrows axis, right? in whatever axis you select. Okay, now where was that? It's just uh, in, in the, the upper, upper right-hand corner. See this? Look yep, at my screen for right a second. Here. This is or whatever, me clicking um, it right here. This little control. Uh, you can you turn your screen up. Screen. For the whole Weird. Oh, sure, sure. Control. Give me one sec. Give me one sec, and I'll can bring it up. Blow yours up. I I'm on it. Yeah, remember, short man. Right here, upper right hand corner. I see the bow and arrow right here. Okay. And okay. Now, now what? Under under the object gizmos, there's a move option. You want to check that box. Mobile. Okay. Got it. And what that does okay. is it gives you this red, green, and blue arrow that you can use to move things around based on those axes, X, Y, and Z. Just makes things a little bit easier because without it, hmm. you don't you don't have those gizmos all the time. True story. Hmm. That's actually a good thing to know. What's that little bullseye? Like this thing. That's a cursor uh, thing, I believe. Where? Where, Frank? Okay, you have right on top in, the, in the upper left hand corner or on the left edge mm -hmm. of your window, you have the wrong tool selected. So if you select the top one, you want, and if you hover over that, you'll get, or if you click and hold, I should say, you'll get like a bunch of options. You want to, okay. you want the select, select box. And then you want to, you know, make sure that that tool is selected. So if you accidentally hit your, I think it's your W key, switches your tools around. You can switch oh, yeah. to all these other tools down yeah, here. Shortcut and it'll be w, shortcut, shift, space bar, B is also shows. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, yep. Yeah, It's going to take a while to get this down. Yeah, you're gonna. You know what? I might tell you the same thing like ten times before you remember it. To be honest, it, yeah, it's just the way things go. Yeah, repetition. Yeah, yeah. There's um. There's a YouTuber by the name of Ephansia, I P H, Ephansia. Huh. Um, 
and he's got a 90 minute video on low poly modeling. Now, not everybody's interested yes. in low poly modeling, I but I recommend that, that video because the whole 90 minutes, all he's doing is telling you about these quick little shortcuts and ways to do things that are super simple and easy to remember. So what was the name? Ifanzia. I'll find it. I'll find it right now here. Give me, I'll put it, I'll link to it in chat here. Give me just okay. a sec. Okay. Ifanzia. Videos. Cliff, what do you got going on there? Nothing. Whoa, on my thing. Uh, I yeah. think I did the mirror thing backwards. Okay. So what I might do is, is adjust. Once I get some lines done, I'll take the wine and I'll flip it over and I'll line up just nice. I'm trying to use that bottom picture as like a reference looking at it from the top. And then I'll change so my view when I get it kind of done. I'll line it up oh, with this yeah, upper good. one here. I got him sub. Cliff, go, go to your top view. Hit seven to go to your top view. Yep. Click on the frame that you're trying to mirror. And then hit yep. control A. And then select all transforms. All transform. That's T, right? Hold on. Let me... Control A and then select all Shift transforms. Shift space bars, right? Shift. Hmm. What? I don't know what you're doing. You're not listening to me. Select Hold the on. object. Oh. Hit control A. <laughs> yep. Control. A. Oh. Teacher's fixing right, to break out the battle. You're gonna break, you're gonna break the the ruler out. Start slapping some knuckles. <laughs> hey, you know what? That won't be the first time that's happened. All right. The yeah. Metal's coming out. Not yep. the metal the wood, a. but the metal flexible one. And then you know all this trunk right? Off. Hey, don't piss you're not, Trump you're not selecting it. I'm I'm looking at your screen and you haven't hit control A yet. I wonder if that selected it. Oh. All right. Go uh go back into object mode. Maybe that's why. Are you yeah, in edit mode? That, that, ah, hey, okay. you know what? There I was in the wrong mode. See? All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then and then on the left uh, tool, the list of tools, go to select that top one instead of that. I don't know what tool you have selected now. No, um, on the left. Yep. Yeah. There yeah. Yep. Select it. There you go. And make sure if you click and hold on that, you want to be select box. Yep. Select box, box select. Yeah. There you go. So yep, now click that. on your frame. Now hit Control A. And then do all transforms. So what that basically does, I'm not sure what you've done here. It looks like you have copies of it. Yeah. So right, okay, right click over in the center somewhere. All right. I'm going to put you on full screen so I can see what you're doing here for a sec. So go over to the right, mm. uh, the right window and select the little wrench about halfway down. There you go. Okay, you don't, you blue don't have any modifiers. Did you duplicate it? Is that maybe that's what you did? I don't know. Maybe. Hold on. Let's. What? No. More mirrors. No. Click yep. the X. You don't want to yep. do that. Don't do that yet. No. Nope. We, yep. we need to. We need to figure out what's going on. Okay. All right. All right. Do you All have right. Do you have multiple cubes there? No, I just have one. I've just been extruding the same cube. I've been cut, loop, and uh, extrude. Is that, why does that look So I subdivided my cube. I made the sections a little too big, but I should be able to narrow them down. Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, so move them, but I click on your frame again. So. It looks like you got click two on, on top frame. of each other almost. And then hit hit your number seven on your uh, your or click uh, top down view. However, you're going there. So slide your frame yeah. over to where you where you want it. You got the arrows. That's what the arrows are for. Click the red arrow to slide it over. The red arrow, not the not the center. No, nope. right click and cancel that. 
All right, right click. There we go. You gotta select. You gotta select the frame. Yep. So Left frame. click to select the frame. Yeah, now use that. the red arrow right there in the center of your screen. Yep. Go grab yeah. it. Grab that and move it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. That's. There you go. Yep. Okay. It looks like there's yep, so two that. people one there. laying on the other. So now, now go to your top-down view again and do hit Control A. Yep, Control A. Read and select oh. all transforms because what you're doing by by hit, doing this, the all transforms thing, is you're basically mm -hmm. telling it this is the position that is centered to the world, the the rotation that is centered to the world, and the scale that is centered to the world. So this is like my reference point. You're basically saying this is my my zero. Um, okay. So now, as you size things and scale things, then it will start to go based on whatever that value is. So now, if you go into your modifiers over on the right and hit that yep. drop down and select mirror, now you will yep. see your mirror. Okay. But but you need to fix it a little bit. So go back into your top down view again. Yep. So. Uh, select your object and go into edit mode. All right. Edit mode. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Switch to vertex mode, which is the, the, the dot. No, the three little next to your edit mode, you have three little icons, vertex, edge, and face. Yep. The one, yeah, press the, the left one. Vertex, yep. Yeah. That's right. Oh, that's edge mode. Select vertex mode. There you go. So now box select. So click and drag to select all of those verts on the right. The the edges of the cross members. No, that's left. Okay, go ahead. That's perfect. Yep. Now use your red arrow to drag it to the left just a little bit so that it's not crossing the center line so that it's over on its own side because remember you're mirroring this so okay, zoom right, in a little right. bit so you can see what you're doing That's okay so now too. drag that red arrow to the left so that all of those verts are on the left side of the green line oh you you have this you have one of those other verts selected see it moving there so yeah, right click yeah. and cancel Yep. yep. Quick. God dang it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> uh, do this. Go into, make sure you're in, in um, x ray mode so you can select all of the verts, even the ones underneath. Now, box select all of those, all of those on the right. No, just the ones on the right. There you go. All right. Yep. Grab the red arrow. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So now, stop. 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 I'm going to show you a trick. You're going to all scale right. all of those on the x axis. So hit S. Yep. And then X to do to lock it to the x axis, and then hit zero. You want to bring them all to the same exact axis on the x, which of a value zero, and then hit your enter key to set it. Okay. So now, now you've got them all the same and on the same x-axis plane. Um, we're going to leave these here for a second. Don't deselect anything. Just nope. hit tab to exit uh, edit mode to go back into object mode. Yep, we're back in object mode. Now over on your modifier, on your mirror modifier, there's a box called clipping. Check that box. No, down below, down below. Right there, it says clipping. Yep, mm -hmm. Check that box. Yep. Now go back and go back into edit mode. And I'll explain why we had to do it in this order in just a sec. So now drag all those verts to the right. What that clipping does is it prevent... No, 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 no. You already have them selected. All you got to do is get the red arrow. There you go. Boom. See how it ends? It, it locks it to the center. So yep. now your two mirrors are merging in the center. That's what that clipping does, is that it prevents you from going past the center point of whichever axis you have 
selected. In this case, on your on your mirror modifier, you can see you're on the X axis. So right. it's using X X as your middle. So everything you do on the left of X, it mirrors on the right of X. Clipping, nice. clipping prevents you from dragging any geometry to the opposite side of X. The, okay, reason, so I had, option. Okay. the reason I had you move all of those to the left side of, of it first was because if you turn this on before you do that, then you'll already have verts on the opposite side and then it just confuses it and it and it doesn't lock them the way that it's supposed to. Uh, maybe that's why I was getting both of them kick out on like the same side. Yeah. Yeah. So now if okay. you if you exit your um, edit mode. And if you exit X ray mode, how did you or go into see, see that's not X ray mode. What you're doing is not X ray mode. That's just wireframe mode. That is X ray mode, the one you just clicked on. Okay, and that's where whatever you know they do basically the same thing, but you'll see the differences as you get a little bit farther in your your blendering. Okay. Um, grab your your plane there, your image reference, because it's not flat as you can okay. see. Go into your no, side. It's view. definitely not. Go into select it and then go into side view. So like. Yeah, okay, there, and then you can straighten it out. Go into your side view. Yeah. Click your side view, Cliff. Cliff, don't touch anything until you go into side view, and then stay in side view. Side view, side view, side view, that would... Yeah, whatever you clicked over there to get yourself, because you don't have the, num, the, the numpad keys, like... Right, okay. There you go. So now, okay, you, you keep rotating yourself out of it. Put yourself in it and then stay there. Stop rotating your camera. Put yourself into the side view. You just did it. Press X or Y, one of the, whichever one you pressed up there on that little, no, no. Yeah. Right now, uh, don't turn your camera. Click on, click on the reference picture. Now hit R. And, and level it out. There you go. Now, nope, oh, you almost had it. If you drag your mouse up, you'll get a longer arm and, and it changes the leverage, just like physics. Drag your mouse up. Up, 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 Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. See, now you don't have to move your mouse as much. Or, I mean, you can move your mouse more without affecting it so much. So okay. go ahead and there you go. Level it out. Perfect. Now click your mouth when you're ready. Now click Y instead of X and do the same thing. Click Y up there in your, your little orientation. And then do the same thing. Go up again. Press R. Go back and click Y again. You keep changing your view. All right, there we go. We got that. Now hit R. No. And rotate it. Oop. Whoa. Uh, hit right. Right click uh, to cancel. I'm going to show you a, a neat trick. All right. Right click, cancel. Right -click uh, to cancel. So right. you did a left click. So uh, hit Control Z to undo that. Left click. Sets whatever you're doing. Right click cancels. Left click, right click. Um, the closer your mouse is to the center of whatever your object is, when you press that R key, the hard, the more, like, the faster it's going to, to rotate. So before you press R, move your mouse away from the object. Move your mouse. There you go. Now press R. Hmm. And see how you have a longer arm and now it doesn't move so fast right so now you can kind of wiggle it in there a little bit better so go ahead and set that and let's look at something press press the number or the letter n on Four your keyboard 
Now, see how you've got a rotation uh, XYZ up there? Yep. Set those to 0, 0, and 90, and I bet that'll get you flat because it looks like you're you're just a little bit skewed. Mm -hmm. Just click it. Just click it. No, just click it. Not the arrow, the number. Now type 0 and enter. Same thing for the Y. There you go. Hit enter and then click that and then type 90 and hit enter. <coughs> Perfect. Nice. Now you can hit your blue arrow on your uh, in your 3D view there and you can lower it just a little bit oh. so it's below your frame. I'll go ahead and click on the frame or the picture again. All right. There you go. go. All right, now you can rotate your view around and you'll be able to see your frame on top of your picture regardless. So okay. Now you, now you can fiddle around with it. All right. So you have an actual picture that you're working off of? Yeah, yes. He, he downloaded a reference picture. This guy's getting advanced. Well, I wouldn't say advanced, man, but <laughs> that's Miguel type of stuff. Well, no, I just, there we go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so now you can. Oh, it's still ang still angled. What the heck? Hmm. Why, why did it disappear? Did you see how it like disappeared? I probably angled oh, everything off. Right? I know why. I know why. Hold on. In that in that little window that popped up when I told you to press N, see the View tab. Click on that View tab on the right of that. A little bit to the right. A yep. little bit to the right. Yep. Click View. Right there where it says end at the on the top three little numbers. Up uh, yeah, one thousand. Change yeah. change that one thousand to ten thousand. Bigger is better, they say. Yeah, ten thousand better than one thousand. Hit enter. So what that does is these settings, these two settings, they tell the software how close and how far can I get away from an object before I stop drawing it on the screen. And that's to help, like, minimize, like, um, resource usage on the computer. Oh, but so that cool. this setting will let you get farther away from that frame. And now you can rotate your view around and you'll notice it doesn't disappear. Okay. Yeah. I thought, it, I thought it was doing that because your, your image was crooked, but it was doing it because this clipping plane. Yeah, that's right. much better. And if you want to hide this this panel on the right, you just press your N key and it'll go away. Yeah. Um. So so do this. Click click on that frame. Then go up to your view uh, up to your view, and do that view uh, align view center center cursor thing that we did earlier. So in the in the view menu. Yeah, you just had it. You just right there. View, yep. align view, a little bit down, and then center yep. view and frame all. Center view, uh, center cursor and frame all. Boom. So now you can zoom in and you'll be centered on your frame. And you can rotate your camera around however you want and it should be in the center. Right. That looks... That looks really good. And don't forget, you can move your camera around by holding shift and middle mouse, and it'll like slide, mm -hmm. slide the camera to the left and right, etc. Shift and middle mouse. There you go. See, see how it like moves you around. Oh, oh yeah, move around a little better than well, as fast I should say. Yeah, yeah. That looks All right. Awesome, baby. Jesus Christ. Phone's blowing up here. What the hell? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Dan, Dan. Oh, you're good. I was like, you, um, I know I'm distracting. If that's you, okay. I'm learning a little bit. Like... I'll show you those, the basic things that I showed Cliff last week, Dan. If you click on your cube, Okay. And you'll see it highlighted. Now, if you want to move something in Blender, you just press your G key. 
now don't click or press yep, anything else but if you if you move your mouse around you'll see that you it's it's basically after you hit the g key okay it's tied it's tied to your mouse Whee! yep yep <laughs> so right now if you were to left click wherever you wherever that cube is on your screen when you left click you're setting it you're saying this is where i want to complete that movement Above now, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to undo that, you can hit Control Z, like in other applications, to undo whatever I just did, and it'll you put it right back. Right back. Yep. But let's do this. I'll show you an easier way. Is if you hit G, and then move it around some more, you can also right click to cancel whatever you're currently doing, and it'll say, "Okay, I'll just go back to where I was." And put it right back. Okay. Yep. So now that movement functionality is true whether you're in object mode or in edit mode. So if you go into edit mode, whether you're in vertex edge or face mode, you can do the same thing. You can select a vertex, hit G, and move it around. Yeah. Only difference is you, the whole thing is all the yep. outlines are all yellow. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And in the in the upper left hand corner of your window where where you're toggling edit mode or object mode yes just just to the right of that you got three little icons the first one is vertex select the second one is edge select and the third one is face select the the uh nomenclature oh. for those what they are the vertex is the little dots Every little yeah. dot, that's a vertex. An edge, an edge is when you connect a line between two of those dots. Okay. And, and then a face is when you have a plane or a surface in between three or more of those dots. Okay, you're either a square or a triangle or whatever. Yeah. So, okay. so depending on what you want to manipulate, you select one of those three modes at the top, either either vertex, edge, or face. So if you okay. select the first one, or I'm sorry, the third one, that'll put you in face mode. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay. And, then, and then while you're I'm in on. vertex mode, I'm sorry, go ahead. Did you have a question? No, no, I just said I'm, I'm there. Okay. Then you can click on one of the faces of that cube. And it'll highlight just that face. So if you click okay. on it, and just like when you were in object mode, hit your G, and you can see it. You can see it moving around with your mouse cursor. Oh, yeah. Oh shit. Plastic. And in the same way, you can hit left click to complete that action wherever it currently is, or right click to cancel. And just like in object mode, if you screw something up, you can hit Control Z to undo it. Okay, I got to remember that. I know I'm going to do a lot of messing up. <laughs> that's okay, all that's right. okay. It's all part of learning. Oh, yeah. yeah. You'll, you know, we'll probably cover this probably five times. I mean, you know. It's, more the better. Or, and, we're even more. So and if you have questions, don't hesitate. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just basically trying to get everything yeah. the way you want it basically yep. and then just learn the keys or not the keys but uh, yeah what you want to do what you want to do yeah right i'm guessing what you basics did click you took a picture of your frame and tires and rendered it well yeah rendered it in blender well all i did is i just went so how i did that was i went up to add and oh wait no what the hell was it import yeah. Oh, okay. import. I've, yep. I've seen yeah. Yeah. He did a file here. file import image, and you can image as plain. You can do that. As well image as reference. Yep. Yeah. yeah. When you first pull up Object. Blender, it gives you the that, don't it? Yes. Yeah, see right here where it says image. There's reference and background. So what I did okay, what is I chose the uh, background for the bottom and then reference for the uh, front side. Mm. Yeah. Show him that menu. Cliff, he's asking you right. what menu you're oh, All right. So object mode. 
and yeah. her shift A. And then yeah, you can just hit shift A to get the same thing. Yeah. And okay. So I can throw I can throw multiple in here. So let's throw another background image in here. So if I click, it's going to throw it somewhere on the screen. So is that what it did to you? Oh, yep. So I'm getting to that here in a second. It'll put a. Okay. It'll put it in the center wherever your current your current center right. is. Which I can change where that, that, move where it. that little circle is. I can go to the side. You can and you can move it around it. once you get it. Yeah, once you get it in, you can move it around. Yep. Okay. Like I just moved it out of sight for a minute okay. here. Uh, yeah. And okay. now we're gonna. Hey Andrew. It... Sorry, I didn't see your uh, your comment. I was. Is that Aries on here? here? What's going on, Hi. Andrew? Andrew Redman. Oh, okay, different. Andrew. I thought it was Aries. Yeah, it's not. It's not inspiring. Cliff takes it back. All right. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. <laughs> so, um, while you're in edit mode and in face select, uh, if you select one of the faces on your cube, you can not only move it around, but you or uh, move it, but you can also rotate it by hitting R. And if you hit R. It'll start rotating it based on your camera yeah. position. <laughs> but you could also okay. you can also tell it I want to rotate it based on an axis like X, Y, or Z. So if you hit R and then press X, it'll rotate it on the X axis. Or if you hit Y, it'll rotate it on the Y axis, Z on the Z axis. And you can switch between them while you're while you're doing this. So if you press the wrong one, it's okay. Just press the right one. Oh, yeah. See that? And then once you get it, same thing. Once you get it where you want it, you just press that left mouse button and it'll complete the action. Whoa, that is freaking wicked. All right. Or or well, if you screwed something, something up, you just right click to cancel or control Z if you if you completed the action and you need to undo it, you just undo it. Control Z, you said, right? Can you right? show I mean, us how to um, stretch it again? Um, are you like, talking like, about extruding it? Yeah, like you had before. So if you have one face selected, you hit Alt-E is the way that I do it. There's a couple, You can just press E, but I like to do Alt-E, and then I select uh, extrude face along normals because what that'll okay. do is that'll go straight out from whatever the orientation of the face I have selected. Oh, and what's weird is I if like you pull it. away, from it, it goes the opposite direction. Oh, you can embed. Yeah, it depends on depends on where your exactly. mouse is when you press oh. those keys. Yeah, I had it just on the surface. Yeah, not in it or nothing. Well, and so if you that complete is, that, yeah. and you change your mind. Watch. Go ahead and click your left mouse. Okay. Now you notice you got your arrows back. So, oh, I screwed that up. You can click your your little green arrow to drag it if you wanted to. Back to I meant to do. I meant to move that to the left. Yeah, or to the right. Or I meant to go. Yeah, you can go do do whatever. Or you could Control Z if you just want to start over. You know, whatever, whichever. You'll find out what works best for you in in each scenario. I can make it with something on a yeah. That's that's all. Yeah, wow. yeah, you can do you can do little uh, air cleaners. You can do all kinds of stuff. That's uh, you, yeah. Uh, I, got, I should be writing this down. Yeah. These. Well, it'll be on this video. So this video will be on my channel. You can always go back and reference it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> So how do you grab the face again? Uh, are you in edit mode? So make sure you're in edit mode. 
And then oh. to the right, yep, to the right of the edit and drop down menu, you want to select the face, which is the third uh, icon. Yeah, there you go. And then click on the face that you want to select. Now. <laughs> Like your face. Yeah, yep. yeah that's her face. <laughs> there, so the face. Uh, there you go. Now. <laughs> so now you're now. in X-ray. You're in X-ray mode right now, Frank. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. But that'll let you select faces on the backside, just in case that's a problem or problematic for you. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Now, do you always and gotta here. intersect the green and green and red line? Do you start off with that? Um, no, you don't have to. They're really just matter. reference points. They're reference points. There is okay. there is a tool up at the top that will let you basically snap to grid um, increments. So if you set your tool up like every millimeter, you can tell it to snap every millimeter. That way you get it exactly where you want it. But it's, you know, that's more advanced stuff. I don't even use that, really. Did you have a question, Dan? I saw you pointing there for a second. Uh, uh, well, no, I was just I was just finding where you and Frank were talking. I'm just trying to find everything on oh, okay. the screen. That way I know what you're all talking it's about. It's in the upper right-hand corner. Upper right-hand corner. Yeah. I'll show it to you. Right there, you yeah. find it? Yeah, it's, a, yep. it's like two boxes, yep. one behind the other. Yep. So I'm going to blow your mind here and show you another tool. While you have a face selected, press your S key and then drag your mouse. Um, she said that the, the three times. Oh, oh, shit. $43. So it's going to follow the mouse. What if I go down? Mm -hmm. Holy crap. That's sick. So now you can scale things, and just like, just like the G or the R, uh, move or rotate, you can you can lock this movement or this uh, alteration on an axis. So if you hit S and then X, it'll only scale it on the X axis. Or if you hit S and Z, it'll only go on the Z axis, etc. Hey. Boss is checking on. And Frank's doing some abstract <laughs> shit over there. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> and since this is a learning thing, you can always go back into object mode, select your object, and hit your delete key and start over. Yep. I've done that quite a few times. And just said, "Fuck it." <laughs> so click on click on your object and hit delete, Bye -bye. and then Shift A will bring up your add menu. Okay. And you can select mesh cube, mesh, and then sub sub object Q. Cube, excuse me. That's easy. And you get a cube back. Yep. Cool. And that's so also the add, the add menu that. Um, Cliff was showing you earlier up top. There's the add menu. That's the same thing. You can click up there and do mesh. Cube. And if you notice, if you hit shift A, you'll notice under that mesh option, you also have things like sphere, circle, cylinder, torus, cone. Yeah. There's a bunch of basic shapes that you can use for various tools. Now, plane is I've wall. Single the cube, right? Plane, plane is basically just a flat surface. It'll be a square okay. with no 3D dimensionality. But you can add 3D dimensionality to it afterwards. So if you use the plane to create a, a crazy shape, you could then give it thickness. Okay. Yeah, playing around. Yeah, very bottom left. So sorry. I guess I put one beside yeah. it. Oh, of course you got to move. Yeah. Yep. So, 
So let's problem. do this. Go ahead and hit your ad menu again, shift A, and okay. then let's add another object. Like uh, let's do a, a cylinder or a, or a sphere or whatever. I don't, I don't really care which. Yeah. Okay. So, object, so edit mode. Add. Cylinder. I move my, or, or move this thing. Yeah, that's. I was just gonna say, that move, move one of the two out of the way. The, the, that whatever you want to call it, the compass thing. Frank, are you in edit mode? I'm in, Frank. I'm in object. But I'm in. Frank, are you in edit mode? No, I'm in edit mode. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Let's not do it in edit mode. Let's do it in in object mode. And I'll show. I'll explain why. That's where I was going with this. Oh, okay. So, so now, so here's the thing. If you do that while you're in edit mode, then that new geometry becomes part of the existing geometry. So you still have one object. So, go to it. so if you click on that, if you click on that and then move it around, you'll see it all moves as one, one I see. object. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Now that you're in object mode, though, go ahead and and add a new add a cylinder or a sphere or something like that. Something else. Okay. Another, another object. So now it's all separate. Yeah. So the, the reason I wanted to show you that is exactly what what just happened to you. So slide that uh, slide that to the side and you'll notice you can select each of those objects independently. Now, if you go into edit mode whichever objects you have selected and you can select multiple objects by using holding your shift key by clicking and while clicking on things whatever objects you have selected when you go into edit mode you will go into edit mode four so you'll put them both into edit mode where you can edit the geometry of of those objects in most cases i will only do one at a time in a few cases i will do multiples um it's not usually useful, yeah. but I'll show you how to fix what you did. Go ahead and select that molt, that object you the first object, Frank, and then go into edit mode, and then delete these. Well, he, first you have to select it all. So so, click on that. Hit Control L, and what? No, just just the cylinder part. Click one of the faces on cylinder on the cylinder. Now hit Control L, and what that'll do is it'll select all linked object uh, geometry to that face. Now hit your delete key. Literally the delete key on your keyboard. Click on one of the faces. Control L. Now hit delete above your arrow key. And then I tell myself, the delete key above your arrow key, Frank. Yeah, I am. On your but oh, oh, you're on a. No, wait a minute. You should have. You should have a delete key. Yeah, I have a delete in the back space. But okay, hold on, hold on. You're not you're not clicking the key that I'm talking about. Okay, right click on your keypad on your keyboard in between the numpad and the keys, the enter key. You have arrows. Mm -hmm. Above the arrows, you have a delete key. Yes. Is that what you're hitting? Yeah, and then it brings up this menu. Oh, okay. So you've got so yours is mapped differently. That's all. That's all that's happening. You can you can also hit X. X will will delete, bring up that same menu, and then you can just do faces or or vertices or whatever, whatever you are selecting and want to delete. So hit Control L. You got to select it all first. Control L, select it all. Now hit your delete or your X and select faces or verts or edges, whatever. You had everything selected, so it didn't matter which one you picked, it would delete them. 
So now you're back to having just the just the rectangle and, and the cylinder. Yeah, so now I go back to object mode, right? Yep. And then add mesh and another cylinder, and then I can make like another wheel or whatever. Yep. And here, they're all separate. So yeah. now I can modify this and then modify that and then modify this. I yep, whichever one you have highlighted when you go into edit mode, that's what you'll be editing. Ah, look, I just made a cart. Oh, look at that. He's got a truck nice. already. <laughs> Holy shit, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it. It's uh, a yeah. mesh and let's do a cone. Hey, Got what's up, Kerb? Here. Now, there's also a way if you get to the point to where you wanna you wanna combine those two, those multiple objects, there is a mm -hmm. way to do that. And, and the way that you do that is by multi-selecting them. So you select the cube and then like, you know, one of the other objects or whatever, and you can hit control J. So when you have multiple things selected and you hit control J, it basically combines them into one object. Don't do that unless you want to do that here. But um, just for reference, that, that functionality is there. It's not something that you're going to use probably for a while, mm -hmm. but just keep in mind it's it's there. Okay. Now suppose I never rotate this cone. I want to flip hit it. your so hit your take hit it. your R key and then um, you can specify the axis X Y or Z and you can actually type numbers here. So if you wanted to rotate it on the X axis ninety degrees. You could press R X ninety and then press your enter key, and it would rotate it ninety degrees on the X axis. Uh, I think you're looking for N, Frank. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for that little panel on the on the right there, mm -hmm. the N key. Guys, I just wanted to drop in for a little bit, see what everybody was up to. I'm going to get ready and head off here. All right. Have a good one. All right. Have good fun, Josh. Josh. Hey, guys. If you're trying to, if you're looking for the end panel, Frank, um, that'll, that'll let you rotate it, too. Press N, the letter N. Oh, okay. <laughs> N. Yeah. Click on that and then press N. See, see it popping out there? You must have it minimized. Yeah, this whatever is... you want item. You want the item option. Okay. I don't know why it's minimized like that. I didn't even know you could do that. How did you do that? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> this is <good. laughs> it ain't no accident. I'll tell you that. I've been pushing everything like Cliff was doing before. If you hover your mouse well, over the top there, what is that? Oh, yeah. See the little down arrow? Click that. Or the little arrow? No, no, no. On the on the long vertical bar next to that um, view menu there. Yeah. Halfway. No. Right there. Up. Oh. To your left, about one inch. There's a little down. Yeah, click that. Is that not doing it? What's, it? What's going on? Why is it hiding your menu? That's really weird. It's got to be a Mac thing. I'm not on a Mac. Oh. <laughs> I'm on Windows 11. I'm high tech right what here, is... bro. <laughs> oh, there you go. See how your cursor just changed? Go back, move your mouse a little bit to the left until the cursor changes. Nope, back over by the arrow. 
little bit to the right, a little bit to no to the right, so that like you're ex expanding a window. See how it went to a double arrow? Little to the left, just like a millimeter. There you go. Now click and drag to the left. Left. There you go. That's that's the window. Okay. Hey, there it so is. You, you <laughs> can it. size it. <laughs> so you'll notice there you have your rotation for X, Y, Z. So you could type it in here if you wanted to rotate it on the X 90 degrees. You, you can just click on the X and then type 90 and hit enter. You okay, have to have so, something selected, uh, which you don't have anything right now. But you don't have anything selected, I don't think. No, it's like oh, a, you did. It's just behind. I see. Yeah, it's behind that cube. Now right. I gotta rotate so, this whole so thing. So you rotate. So shift. No, not shift. Just middle mm -hmm. mouse. Middle mouse. Not not no. mouse wheel, but click and hold, and then move your mouse. Click and hold the middle mouse button or the middle mouse wheel. There you go. There we go. Bro. Uh, <laughs> balls. Balls. Uh, undo, undo, undo. <laughs> no, you, no, you're fine. You're just rotating your view around. That's all you're doing. That's all that little yeah. gizmo does. I got you. Ooh, look at that. I'm making a choo-choo train. There we go. Now we <laughs> take this cone. <laughs> Rotation. So now I want to go on Y axis, I guess. Well, now it's on the Y yeah, axis, you're rotating it, you're not really going to notice. Okay. okay. Because it's basically, it's round, oh, it's okay. in the same okay. shape on all the, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now uh, 180. 180, 180 you'll flip it backwards. Yep. Um, So now do it with just typing. So press R, Z, 180, enter. Well, not not while you have that. You got to cancel what you're doing there. You're in the middle of a change there. So yeah, there you go. Now press R, well, Z, just, no, yep, highlight it. You got to click it and highlight it. Okay, click it, highlight it. Okay. Now oh, R oh. to rotate, Z to rotate on the Z axis, 180 for 180 degrees. And enter to complete it. Go. So same same thing as what you were doing, just by typing the keys. All right. Let's add mesh cube. <laughs> oh, you are making a train now. You guys are learning. You don't have to choo choo. <laughs> 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 no, he's what, mean, this, this a little rack of puffs, puffs of smoke. Puffs of smoke. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I recommend practicing with those those functions for you know a little bit. You'll get yeah, you'll get a good. Yeah. Or, and that um, Cliff was mentioning earlier you can press your F3 key and it'll bring up a search bar and what that'll do for you is it'll let you search for functions like scale or rotate or delete or you know any of that type of stuff any of the commands that you know exist you can you can search for them and it'll It'll bring them up, and it'll even show you when there's like a hotkey associated with it. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there I'm just scrolling through, and I'm just in the D's. <laughs> I just added a monkey. Oh, uh, yeah. What's the name of that? I forget what it's called. Um, I don't know. I haven't fucked with the monkeys yet. It's called, oh, it's literally just called monkey. Yep. It's an it's an object. When you add a new mesh, instead of adding a cube or a or a cylinder, you can add monkey. Yep. Yep. And also the other thing too, I figured out what the hell was it? Uh, 
What the? Oh, I saw a video guy had that out there. Where, where did you get yeah. the monkey at? Uh, just in the, the armature. The, the for menu, building people. Add, add under mesh, there's a monkey option. Yep. I'll be dang. Yes, there is. Okay, let me move my. Oops. Excuse me. Take you over here. There's a meet the ball. There's a one to find the meet the ball. Oh, it's a meet the ball. ball. <laughs> I got the meet the ball. <laughs> wow, I've been calling it a meat ball. It's actually meta ball. Whoops. Close enough. <laughs> I've been calling it a meat ball. I'm like, I got monkeys, meatballs. Armature is for building people. Um, at least that's what I'm gathering so, out of it. It like makes like the arms D. and pivot points. Rope D. X. Oh. Rope D. Z. 90. There we go. So also another thing uh, that I noticed that you can do mm -hmm. is you can select a uh, grease pencil. You can trace an image to a grease pencil. And it'll extract it and put it as a new object. So yeah. we'll just go tire. <clears throat> oh. There's also a tool called the knife tool, which will oh, do the same okay. thing as a grease pencil, but instead of adding an object, it'll let you cut an object. So yeah. you could so literally cool. cut an object in half. I think I saw that somewhere on here. Of course, I've forgotten already. But yeah, I played around with the screen what, three, two, three days ago. Uh -huh. I think it was Sunday. I think it was Sunday I did it because I've, I worked the last two days. So it was Sunday when I played around with this. I guess when you did your, your first video, wasn't it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. This is only the second one, so. Right. Yeah. Cliff has got half a chassis already. That's awesome. Yeah, look at that. Hmm. I'm going to print this, too. <laughs> You're, are, um, Cliff, are you adding those as background? Is that what you said? Yeah, either background or image or perspective, but yeah. My recommendation is uh, to do image as planes. Now you have, that's a okay, add on that you have to go into the preferences and turn it on. But images as planes is the way that I do that. All right. I don't know that there's a, an advantage or disadvantage to doing it that way. That's just the way that I was instructed to do it. So that's how I do it. And uh, holy fuck, there is a lot. Damn. Go up in the upper right and type uh, image. Boom. And you should see one Im import, export, image as planes. There you yep. go. So now that's all you got to do. You can close that window. When you when you do your add, now you'll have the option to add image as plain. All right. Let me do that. Right, we'll that and oh, that's right. You can download that. Blender from Blender.org. Yep. Or if you. If you are a Steam user, if you play video games and you have Steam, you can also get it on Steam. Okay. Hello, little girl. Hello. Well, you fixed it. Yeah, I fixed it. Here. That's Is your... that one of the bosses? <laughs> mm -hmm. Program director. Yeah. I've got three. I'm going to see tomorrow. I've got three living here. <laughs> I've got nine living here. 
I to, yeah, I bowed you, Miguel. I bowed down to you. God bless you. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. I think one <laughs> is hard enough for me. Nine. Oh, I take it back. I have eight. One of them's off at college right now. Okay. A yeah, little relief. <laughs> Not really. He he's one of the better behaved ones, so Oh, okay. Probably one that helped you. Help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of little tools on the sides and all of this thing. <clears throat> I recommend though uh Blender Guru's donut tutorial series and, yeah, and that's that, yeah. that I linked. Those two those two are um awesome. I got through video one of the guru. <laughs> one. My head was hurting. I got a lot of clicking, <laughs> going back, go, re-watching. Go watch it again. And, go watch it. I mean, if you have to watch it five times and, you know, get yeah. comfortable with it, then do what you got to do because it's it's worth it. He's He does a great job of, of teaching. Good. From the ground up. I am, I, I'll admit it, I'm a terrible instructor. I have like very little patience and, and I don't blame <laughs> you guys for getting mad at me for losing my nope. patience. Um, nope. But, right, uh, damn it. It does not bother me. I'm used to getting yelled at during instruction, so especially <laughs> from my background in the army. Is that a jelly donut you're eating? <laughs> this guy down here has been in the army for how many years? Yelling should not affect him one bit. He probably ignored it. Yeah, it it I, I'm used to it. I, <laughs> even I'm the same way when I like get instructor mode sometimes. So I, I feel your private pain, pile yeah. wants a jelly donut. Donut. <laughs> And everyone yeah, else is going to pay for it. Yeah, <laughs> everyone else. Yeah, yeah Gomer. <laughs> <laughs> Private Gomer. Um, you don't really use a printer with a blender. What Blender is is a 3D modeling software, and it happens to have the ability to export files in a yeah. format that is usable by 3D printers. With that being said, any 3D printer can take advantage of an STL file. Right. So there is no limitation as to what printer you can use um, in tandem with Blender as the as the object creation tool. Yeah. Blender will export STL files and, and any printer you can buy should, well, any 3D printer uh, should accommodate the use of STL files. That's like the industry <laughs> standard for, for 3D objects. Oh, crap. Yeah, mommy's not happy. <laughs> it sounds like something you might have said before. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. We went to the gutter. Bad, <laughs> Bad monkey, no biscuit. I'm not sure what tool you're using there, Dan. Uh, Wade, Wade Paint. It's in. It's up in the top there where, where you have your audio. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. I've <laughs> never used that. Yeah. I just, well, I'll tell you what. You, you play with that, and then you can teach me how to use that tool because I've uh, never touched it. I'm just, I'm just, uh, yeah. Okay. Z. Christmas present for my daughter is a Creality Ender 3. Well, that is definitely one that you can use. Yes. Yeah. That's I'm a good not, one, actually. Awesome. And not oh, cheap. Yeah. A very good present. I think I was looking at that printer not too long ago, and it was like a few hundred bucks. Nice printer. Yeah, that's the one I was looking at. You don't need any more printers. Well, that's an FDM printer. Frame. Every... It, it, it'll let me do things like print, um, like tool holders, like little paint racks and stuff. Oh, that's the one with the um, fishing line? Yeah, it uses the different style of, of medium oh, to okay. print. Well, that's cool. <clears throat> so then you are going to buy another one. Uh, mm. yeah, at some point I'll, I'll have an FDM printer. I got lots of stuff I want to do with it.
And you don't necessarily have to learn Blender to 3D print. You can also go, there are tons of websites out there where you can get Hobbyworks. free com. files um, or and some where you can buy really, really nice stuff. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there. Right. Well, I'm not necessarily doing it for the whole 3D printing, but maybe make STL files for someone to 3D print. Yep. Yep. Because part of my thing is I want to try to put together a kit, but have it based off of kind of like the square body Chevys. Where you can use either the 78 big game, uh, well, that's 124. Or the deserter, or. Yeah, deserter, or even uh, 76 more there side. A, there's a snow plow be, one in there. Yeah, the set, yeah, that's the plow truck, GMC plow truck. Yeah. Yeah, that's and, a good idea. I mean, that's pretty much what, I, what I've done with my 66, so. Well, you inspired me to kind of do that. That's why I'm trying to. Uh, learn a little bit of blender and try to make like a little bit of kind of do like a collab, uh, collab or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, baby. You know, <laughs> yeah. Do like a co-op collab or whatever on it. And... Yeah. Yeah. Tinkercad. Tinkercad is also a tool that's out there. If you don't want to learn blender. Uh, I know a lot of people who, who get by using Tinkercad um for everything they don't they absolutely they schools right yeah i don't I yeah a lot of schools will that. teach tinker huh yeah. interesting tinker cat yeah. tinker cat is really good for um hard surface modeling so things that are square round rectangle solid edges you know um blender while is really powerful and useful for those same things blender will do things like you know a monkey you can do contouring you can do rigging right. and, and and rendering and all kinds of you know stuff like that blender is like 10 10 000 times more powerful than you need it to be <laughs> well obviously that's how you uh do our renders yeah, right. Because this picture right here I found, it'd be a little bit different, but this is the general idea of kind of how I want it with like the Rockwell axles, but that orange frame, which I'm having some reason trouble trying to find. But I might be able to actually go here and find it. go up here quick like quick quick So basically something like this. Let me see if I can get it downloaded or at least. Uh... Hmm. You want to play around with that, Dan? Let me show you yeah. something. If you go, okay. go into, go into edit mode on that object. Okay. Make sure you're in face select, which is that third icon. Uh, wait. Where is? Oh, where are you? It's that should just be. Oh yeah, where are your? Oh, where are your icons? I don't even see them. I don't know where they went. They were. They were up here. What maybe this is a different object? Maybe this is a different type of object. I don't I don't recognize this the this sphere that you have here. So, I when did I get? Uh, go ahead. 
go back into object mode and then do um do a shift a and try just adding a spear <laughs> either a uv spear or an ico spear either one is fine yeah and then go go into edit mode on that bam there it is okay so now click on one of those faces any one of the faces i'm gonna show you a neat little trick here okay. on the on the cube okay. itself okay so now scroll your mouse wheel in and zoom in just a little bit so that we're a little bit closer okay so now hold your oops right uh, undo that control z oh, okay. <laughs> all right i think i did it right, control z one more time because you 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 click twice Right, okay she's whatever stubborn. she's being stubborn <laughs> that's okay if you hold your alt key and then click on like one of the edges of the square that okay. the face that you have selected it will select a ring around the object in adjacent faces so hold your alt key and then click on the on the face but next to one of the edges go up on the spear up on the sphere the face that you had selected okay hold, hold your alt key and then select one of the one of the edges okay yeah so now 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 same thing but do the side edge instead of the top or bottom while holding your alt key see how that does that yeah so I now the alt mode or or can I let it go? Uh, it's, it's done. I mean, all you're doing right now is selecting things. Okay. So here's all another right. handy another handy shortcut is while you're in edit mode and you have something selected, hold control and hit your plus key. Oh, you've got that. You No, you, uh, you deselected stuff. No, no, no. Go back and do ha, select what you had selected not sure how you unselected things but hold your alt key and click one of the next to one of the edges okay there you I, go. yeah now hit control and plus on your on your numpad normally for you i'm not sure where your numpad or your plus key oh, there's is, a but, plus right up by the f12 yeah try that see if that does it and then it's zoomed in it. yeah all it's doing is zooming in oh okay okay well, let me see. I don't know what the hotkey is for that. Let me find it real quick. F3. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. I'm back where it was. <laughs> okay, give me one sec while I'm looking for the hotkey. Right. I'm just nice. looking to see what the hotkey is. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, I need to get me a red keyboard. Give this one back to him. You know, having the shorty keyboard's probably useful if you have like limited desk space, but if yeah. you're going to be using it a lot, you're going to want a full keyboard. Yeah, but he can't handle the large one, it's just too big. You'd be happy I can't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a good arm reach, ask Tammy. <laughs> oh, but she's faster than me. <laughs> select more is what it's called. So let me see here. F3, select more. So, yeah. So if you hit F3, it'll pop up a little search window. Uh, F3, I don't know. It's this. Is it keyboard. not popping it's, up for you? No, it's it. No, no. But it's multi. Okay. This whole keyboard's got multi functions built into it. Oh, oh okay. Gotcha. Maybe a shift gotcha. F3. No, I don't think so. Nope, nope. Nothing. 
I need a normal keyboard, little man. <laughs> That's what I oh, need. Well. Well, when you we'll get a regular keyboard, I can I can tell you all my hobbies. No, my secrets. birthday is tomorrow. I need F3 or even a shift. What is it? Shift plus? Well, control What you plus, hit? Plus on the numpad. That's him. And it pulled that up. Okay. <laughs> it helps have him here. Okay. <laughs> wow, Cliff, you're so, uh, that laser already? So, That's awesome. So type, huh? type select more. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. Miguel. Sorry. No, you're good. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. You're going so, you're going so going going to type on select on more. Miguel. <laughs> so what am I going to? Uh, yeah. Which one do you type want to select more? Select more. Okay. What is it? Select more. And then you should see it in the list there, and it'll even show you what the hotkey is on the right. That's more you, next active, uh, previous active. You want more. You want more. So just click on the one that says select more. Oh, it'd be control number pad, but I don't have control number pad. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, but so you see what it did is it selected yeah. the adjacent cells. Yeah, the one on the side. Now, if you were in vertex mode or if you were in edge mode, it would select the next series of vertex or edges. Okay. But in this case, it just selects the next row. And if you had the vertical ring like you had initially, then it would have selected them left and right instead of up and down. But that's just a handy tool that when you when you get a little bit more advanced, you'll be using that quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a ways from that, I believe. Uh, it won't take as long as you think. No, it's yeah. just using it helps. Yeah. Mm. Start some. Oh yeah, I'm, actually, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. Um, work. I want to rotate this cube. What are you trying to do, Frank? So the cube that I got highlighted, I want to rotate it. Okay. So you don't want to be in edit mode to rotate it. I mean, I'm be in object. Yep. Yeah. So what axis do you want to rotate it on? The X um, is the red line. Yellow or the green is the Y. It looks to me like you're. Is it just a little bit canted? Is that what you're trying to fix? I'm trying to turn it to. You see how I have it like. Press seven on your keypad to go into your top view. So is it? Are, is it because it's crooked? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah. Okay, watch. See that? Oh yeah. Okay. I want to rotate it. Well, I'm in school. This is cool. <laughs> it looks to me like you get got graded it. on this later. What's that? Do we get graded on this later? It looks like yes, you got yeah. a Lincoln log, uh, log, log and stuff. And right now you're getting an F. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna need to go into edit mode because that's it's uh, that face is skewed. Mm. Yeah, select the object, go into edit mode, select that end face. Oh yeah, not, not the one you have now, not that one, but the end. Rotate your view so you can see it from an angle. The whole. Yeah, there you go. Now grab that face on the end. No, that's the that's the full side. Yeah, there you go. Now now hit your your blue arrow. No, yeah, there you go, and and raise it up. Oh, click click it again.
Mm. Oh, so you got it. You had another face selected, another vertices selected. So if you go uh, into vertex mode, vertex. in the, uh, the three icons next to the edit oh. menu, oh. go to the first one. And then it can do the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Now Maybe grab that one there. dot. Yeah, I forgot about that. I got that big freaking razor. Grab oh, just that one dot. Right. Nope, you're moving yeah. things. That's so much slide, right click to cancel. Now yeah. grab just click on select that one dot. Yeah, awesome. Just put that right here. No, the the one that's cockeyed, the one at the okay. top that's like right there. It's supposed to be. there you go. Now now yeah. drag that yeah. one down where it's supposed it looks to be. Look like a nose. Look at Jethro's nose. <laughs> now I gotta go to object mode. Now you can change your view to get a better idea of whether it's aligned or not. Oh, yeah, I like it. It's like that little dirty something on it somehow. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete it. Click. Start over. Start over. Start over. Yeah. I don't know, maybe. You should be using that over there. It's your this workstation, yeah. I'm supposed oh, to be What the fuck? I can't That's play in the cluster fuck area. I got to play in this area. That's why there's keep little keyboards here. I can. Push it out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Then you had the girl with the big booty on and the girl. I said that rolled up. Uh, you know, fall back on that one. I, I like the one I have that uh, just uh, in between of the uh, clock and rubber. And the uh, yeah, it's, it's, it goes down a lot easier on things. It looks right. easy. Yeah. <laughs> it looks nice. Yeah. I'm having fun, at least. You'll really start having fun once you once you get a little bit more comfortable with it. Damn. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Death Star being and audited. <laughs> Lay it on top there. There we go. All right, his and hers. Have a good one. Oh, no, shit. I ain't paying attention to that. It looks like a cup holder. <laughs> you need uh, any one of them feet, and then you can it stretch down, and it'd be like a little cup holder looking thing. Yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, look at Clint getting all fancy. Damn. Damn, Clint. What the hell? <laughs> what? Someone got to this Holy crap. I'm just putting pictures up. What's fucking around with them because oh. this is a this is the type of That's frame that I want to try to build. Yeah. I think it's a badass fucking frame. It's nice. I like. Now if I can actually. Well, yeah, they're them coil over. You know, they're them coil over them big sum bitches. Those yeah, are if you get two pieces of round styrene to go. Uh, yeah. You know, two pieces of hollow styrene to work in there. And put the spring above it there. They if you get the I don't know. It's it, it's above my pay grade, but yeah. Can I help you oh, straighten yeah, no, that? Huh. Can I help you straighten that? Yeah, I was watch just sitting there looking at it, and I was trying. So here, to... so so here, let me let me walk you through it. All right. Yeah. No, stop clicking on stuff. Stop, 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 stop. Press tab. Yep. Tab. Here we go. Press number one up on the top of your keyboard, not the one on the numpad. Yep. Oh, not that. This over here. Oh, you're, you you didn't hit, hit, hit your tab go into edit mode. Oh, okay, I was going to say it's not number. Oh wait, yeah. you selected you must have imported that as a background or something cuz that's not Yeah. Okay, so it's it's, it's, we'll do plane. it a different way. We'll do it a different way. Mm -hmm. Hit N. Yep, that's right. And then and then go over to item. Now, on the top there's tabs yep. on the right side yep, of that. Yep, yep. Select item. And then zero out all of that rotation, except for that yep. one's obviously got to be 90. Yep. Now, you want that one 90. Yeah, 90. 
And the rest of them should be zero. Back. Click on that one. Keep that. That little. There you go. And then I can do it. That'll do it for you. And then. Yep. Boom. Yeah. Nice. Yep, that's what it was. Now, the plain one, which I was going to add another one as a plain, add images of plain. That one. What you got? Oops. That one, you grab that. Trying to make a ninja star or something? Uh. I can already see one advantage to adding thing, adding images as planes instead of backgrounds is that you can edit them. You can, you can mess with the vertices, vertices. Vertice. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so I got to scale that. Object scale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. This one's a little more. Dan's over there making aliens. You <laughs> notice that pretty cool, huh? It works. You can control Z to undo that if you if you want to. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Keep on remembering. Oh, she yeah, old poor Esther. Yip 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 in her dreams. Must be chasing a squirrel. I never heard a dog dream so freaking loud. Uh, you guys can't hear her. That's a good old dream. I, I, I can barely even wake her up sometimes. She gets that deep sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. Are you trying to make the like the water tank on there, Frank? What are you What are you making? I know you're just goofing around, but yeah, I'm trying to trying to make a truck cab. Oh yeah, I can see the dually now. All right. Yeah, it's like a big rig. So up mode head mesh cube feeder <laughs> danger will Robinson danger danger oh that's why I messed up on that one there let's push you back in what's up Josh oh you uh, thank you Panzer happy New Year to you as well hey Josh. Hey, what's going on, Josh? We're just goofing around with a little bit of blender. There, doggy tail. Man, that looks... Damn, it's sharp rendering, Miguel. <laughs> that Bronco. Yeah, yeah. It's put my little doggy to shame. <laughs> That's all right. I don't know. I'm kind of here playing. to learn. I'm playing around. Yep, that's <clears throat> now this is basically what you were asking for, but this is not my like this axle is not mine. So I can't oh, it's I'm, not? I wouldn't No, I, I got this from someplace. I don't even remember where, but it's not mine, so I wouldn't sell it. Right. And the, the well I mean I'm actually trying to uh... Like, that's why I'm trying to design some of my own shit. Yep. So that, you know. So you and that's why it. I'm using actual reference, like real picture reference. So once I get to the point of actually getting a basic shape, then I can, like, throw, like, the screen kind of over it. Because that's actually the picture I'm trying to uh, get to go here. So... Oh, 
Where'd it go? <coughs> Sorry, guys. You're good. Uh, what was that, Frank? Right? Image. So add image as planes. All right. Create mesh. All right. So we're going to use the one picture that I was of the okay. axle. All right. Thank you. This is a crash. That's it. It's, it's the one with the rotate. There we go. All right. Edit mode. It's got to make you smaller. So I guess I'll scale that, right? Feels like weird science. Making the boobs get bigger. <laughs> yeah, there's no way the um, manifestation of what they have in that computer program did any justice <clears throat> to what they were trying to design. She she was hot. Right. She wasn't nearly as as voluptuous is what they were trying to create <laughs> i know no definitely not you wearing, would you cover yourself for christ's hey, sake <laughs> chet <laughs> played by bill paxton yeah a great actor yeah <clears throat> Sir, how about a pork sandwich Serve that dirty ass. <laughs> sandwich, right? Wasn't it a greasy? Yeah, it was a greasy pork sandwich in an ashtray. Serve that dirty ashtray. How about some eggs? <laughs> <laughs> That's such a great movie. Oh. I mean, have you seen Kyla Brock lately? Age has definitely caught up with her. I mean, not saying I still wouldn't slay, but, you know. What else was she in? Oh, uh, there was a uh, the red. She was like a spy red. movie, I think. Lady in Red. Yeah. Uh, Lady, Lady in Red. Was that Gene Wilder? Movie? Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder. Oh, Gene yeah. Wilder. She had, oh, yeah. that, she had that Marilyn Monroe moment. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gary, Gary, your son. Who? Mm. Yeah. Kept showing pictures. When he gave, the old, when he gave his parents amnesia. Yeah. yeah. Who's Gary? <laughs> your son. <laughs> All right. Why am I not getting anything on this plane? Because they're one sided, so it's probably the the picture's probably on the opposite side. All right. So let me try to rotate it again and just do R Y one eighty. All right, so R Y. Oh, you know what? You're also you're in uh, solid mode. I don't know that the pictures show up in solid mode. Switch to the four little globe icons to the right there. Pick yeah. either the the third or the fourth one. Pick the third one, not the fourth one. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. Oh, I'm like two some. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Okay, yeah. Now. There you go. Oh, 
And one thing I'll tell you, Cliff, is you got to get out of the habit of just free rotating things. You need to rotate things like 90 degrees, 180 degrees, whatever. Because when you import it, it's at zero. And if it's cockeyed, it's because you free rotated it. You, you should just, instead of using your mouse to rotate it, you should press the Do keys. The numbers. Type the numbers. Or you should type in the values in the in the item rotation up top, like I was showing you earlier. You can't do it while you're in edit mode. You shouldn't be rotating anything while you're in edit mode anyway. You should be rotating in object mode. Oh. Okay. I'm at the object mode. <laughs> Edit mode is for changing the shape of things. In other words, what, I, what the crazy crap I was doing. Yeah. If you want to spin things around or scale them up and down or move them around, you should just be in object mode. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I've hurt my head enough for one night. A good start yeah we're gonna we're gonna call it here in a little bit yeah i was gonna say try, it's try to keep it short yeah is that uh, longer than i thought it was gonna be two hours already if that's short yeah, but there's all, so we covered a lot and we've made a lot, a lot of progress too yeah yeah if we keep them between one and two hours yeah i think that'll be good a couple times that, that's perfect yeah was it just tuesdays and thursdays is that what we're going to do I'm going to I'm going to try to do Tuesday, Thursdays and Saturdays. Okay, that'll work. I can do yep. Saturday. Saturdays. Saturdays will be I'll at 11, 11 a.m. instead of 7 p.m. Oh yeah, that'll work. I can I can So know, we can get done time. early so we can, you know. And, and he, no, and no, that way we're done in time for Josh's you know, uh, interview now. on Saturdays. And Miguel can get some work done. <laughs> Yeah. All right, folks. Well, I guess we'll just call it there. Yeah. Had fun, Miguel. I learned something. That's yeah, what definitely. Matters. Thank you. It was. I might actually even save this, so I ain't got to restart. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, next weekend I'm sure we'll have we'll go over the same stuff a couple times next week, and maybe the week after that. Oh, yeah. Eventually, eventually it'll it'll commit to memory and. Yep. And what? <clears throat> Give me something to fuck with later. Uh, yeah, for sure. All right, folks. Awesome. Well, everybody have a good night. Good rest of the week. If we don't see yeah. you Thursday. Yeah, if we don't see you Thursday, then enjoy. Oh, I will. I'll be here. All, All right. right. Thanks for jumping in here, Dan, Frank, and Cliff. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. No, you, you guys have, have a good there. evening. All right. And we'll take care. See ya.